This is the secret to great ball striker with irons. Now, you've probably heard that before. Alex, you've told me the secret. Well, this is great because this actually is something, no matter if you're watching videos here online, you're taking lessons in person or online, you can apply whatever you're working on in your golf game to this theory. How many times, and I know this because I get very, 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 very frustrated at it, you can't take your golf game, you can't take a drill, you can't take that strike out on the golf course, you have no way of actually building something because as soon as you hit a shot away, when you're working on something in your game and it's not right, we get so disheartened so quickly. I've got a foolproof method here that takes your game from the range to a shot to the golf course. You have to follow these three key steps. Now, before this, I know a lot of you are from America watching this, so congratulations on a, what I'm gonna say is a, well, I think dominating probably isn't the word, uh, a real drumming, a real battering by USA on Europe. Um, Great spectacle, great watch. Did any of you actually think though, going into the final round, Europe had any chance? Was there another Miracle Madonna on the cards? I actually had a bit of hope, but I don't know what you guys think. So, let's get into this drill. Now all you're gonna need to start off this drill is, imagine you're down at the driving range, is grab a tee pack. So, when we've been set a task by our coach, we tend to just grab some golf balls away and hit, hit, hit and just hit loads of golf balls, right? Reps are key. Now, reps are key if we've got the right concept to work to. So, what I mean by that is, is I want you to hit some tee pegs away, three broken tee pegs for every five shots you hit. Now, the importance of this is, I can get a perfect quality of move nailed down, dialed in, whatever way you want to think about this, without me worrying about where that ball's gone. Because your brain, if I hit one now, like this, one of my five, oh, it's gone a little bit right. Felt like I did it right, but went a little bit right. All you're doing is confirming to your brain that this might not work, but all that is is you not timing it all correctly. So having that theory of using a broken tee peg, using that theory of, right, okay, I'm going to get this perfect quality of move, but I'm gonna strike something away, is so valuable, it's untrue. Because then when I come to my five shots, I'm now in a little bit more of a course mode. I've still got a little bit of drill mode on me, but a little bit more course mode, where I am thinking about more the actual strike, more the actual shot, which is bridging that gap between concept, range, and golf course. If we start missing it left, missing it right during that drill, you will try and compensate to find that straight. Missed it right, right, I'll probably pull the next one, misses left. Missed it left the first one, I'll probably push the next one, I miss it right. I know you're probably nodding your head right now going, that sounds like me at a driving range. So you have to set yourself this task. And I want you to do this and promise me this right now. No matter if you're going down to the driving range and hitting 20 balls, hitting 15 balls in your garden, whatever that might be, stand there for every five shots that you hit, I want you to hit three broken tee pegs away. Where you're there, you're focusing on whatever you're working on with your golf coach, Boom, I'm striking something. Now I can stand in and strike a golf ball away and not be worried about anything at all apart from a bringing in a bit more of a shot rather than just trying to hit a concept. So work on that theory. For every five shots, you're gonna strike three tee pegs away. So I do this. So if you come down here for me and have a look at this session, I've got balls out in the tray, but I've also got balls out in front of me here. I would always siphon off five golf balls, maybe even put them into a bit of a cluster here, where I know that's my objective right now, is those five only. I've got my broken tee pegs around me as well. These can just be anything. Just place them around you. Doesn't Not looking about something being perfect, because many of us don't have an impact bag. That would potentially be a great idea. 
but a real feasible option for us right now is to find some broken tea pegs, strike them away, build some actual feelings, build some reps in that way, and then you can take those reps into some shots, and then those shots onto the golf course. You can see how now I've got you giving you a process of going from concept to concept and shot, and then something to take to the course. So let's do a time lapse of exactly how I'll be doing this right now. So you're gonna watch this on the screen. You can see me hitting three shots away with a tee peg, then moving into actually hitting five golf shots away. And then I'm now in that mind space of actually, I'm not worrying about the ball flight and the consequences of me getting the drill wrong. I'm more in that situation of bringing those reps into shots out on the golf course, which in essence, it's how the pros do it. It's how we bring our game to the course, it's how we lower our scores, and how we take that strike we know we can achieve into our next medal round. Thank you so much for watching today's video. It can really resonate how frustrating it is that you can't take your game to the course. Now you can. Use that method, get some broken tea bags, real good investment in your game. Thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, it helps me, it helps the channel grow. So I'd appreciate if you could subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow at the same time.